Now let us look into another classification of the signal which is periodic versus non-periodic signals. We know that a signal x of t is periodic if it satisfies the condition x of t plus capital T is equal to x of t for every t. Here capital T is called period of the signal and t should belong to r minus 0 it means that it should be a non-zero real number the minimum value of t which satisfies this condition is called fundamental time period of the signal similarly the discrete time signal x of n is periodic if x of n plus capital n is equal to x of n for every n here capital n is period of the signal and it should belongs to z minus 0 it means that it should be a non zero integer and the minimum z sorry the minimum positive n which satisfies this condition is called fundamental period of the signal now given two signals x1 of t and x2 of t which are periodic with periods t1 and t2 the signal x1 of t plus x2 of t is periodic if and only if the ratio t1 by t2 is rational and the period of the signal x1 of t plus x2 of t is lcm of t1 comma t2 that is the period of the signal is least common multiple of t1 comma t2 similarly given two discrete same signals x1 of n and x2 of n which are periodic with periods n1 and n2 the signal x1 of n plus x2 of n is always periodic and the period of the signal is least common multiple of n1 comma n2 now for example consider the signal x of t is equal to sine pi by 3 t we know that the signal x of t is periodic if x of t plus capital T is equal to x of t. If we are able to find, sorry, for every t, if we are able to find a t capital T satisfying this condition, we can say that x of t is periodic. Upon substitution, we can see that x of t, t plus capital T is sin pi by 3 t plus sin pi by 3 capital T. This is, should be equal to sin pi by 3 but we know that sin pi by 3 t is equal to sin of 2 pi k plus pi by 3 t. From this we see that for the signal to be periodic pi by 3 into capital T should be equal to 2 pi k where k belongs to z. Upon simplification t is equal to 6 k where k belongs to z. The minimum t which satisfies this condition is t is equal to 6. So, the given signal x of t is periodic with a fundamental period of capital T. Now, let us consider another signal x of capital N is equal to so on, means which is existing from minus infinity and it is a repetitive sequence of 1, comma 2 and so on. Here 0 is, so the instant n equal to 0 corresponds to the 1 as shown. Now, we see that the given signal x of n is a repetition of 1 comma 2 from this we see that x of n is periodic with a period of n is equal to 2 now let us consider another example which is as shown in the figure here the signal x of t is a continuous time signal as shown and from the figure we see that the signal is periodic with a period capital T because whatever signal is present in the range of 0 to t the same sequence repeats so from this the signal x of t is periodic with a period capital T now let us solve some of the problems related to periodicity of the signals now a signal x of t is given as sine of 6 pi t plus sine of 10 pi t 
we have to find the period of the signal x of t here. We know that the signal sin 6 pi t is periodic with a period of t is equal to 1 by 3 second. Similarly, the signal sin 10 pi t is periodic with a period of t is equal to 1 by 5 second. This is upon up comparing the signal sin 6 pi t and sin 10 pi t with some standard form. Now, the signal x of t is periodic if t1 by t2 is rational that is 1 by 3 whole divided by 1 by 5 is equal to 5 by 3. This is rational. So, the signal x of t is periodic. And the period of the signal is given as t is equal to LCM of t1 comma t2. We know that the least common multiple of these values is 1. So, the period of the signal is 1. Now, similarly, there is a signal, there are signals x1 of n and x2 of n which are given as shown. Here, the instant n is equal to 0 corresponds to the value 1. Similarly, x2 of n is given as Here the value 0 corresponds to the instant n is equal to 0. Now we have to find the period of the signal x of n is equal to x1 of n plus x2 of n. From the given data, the signal x1 of n is periodic with a period of n1 is equal to 3 and x2 of n is periodic with a period n2 is equal to 2. This is from the given data. Therefore, we see that the ratio, sorry, the signal x1 of n plus x2 of n is surely periodic as the individual signals are periodic and the period city of the period of the signal is given as n is equal to lcm of 3 comma 2 which is equal to 6 from this we see that the signal x1 of n plus x2 of n is periodic with a period of 6 now there is another signal x of t given as x of t is equal to sin a t plus sin of t by b. We have to find the condition for x of t to be periodic. So, this condition would be in terms of a and b. So, for that we have to find the signal period of the signal sin a t. So, for the um, if sin a t is periodic, the period of the signal is t1 is equal to 2 pi by a. From this, we can see, see that the period of the signal sin t pi by b can be written as t2 is equal to 2 pi b. Therefore, for x of t to be periodic, the ratio t1 by t2, sorry, the ratio of t1 with t2 should be rational. Therefore, 2 pi divided by a as a whole divided by 2 pi b should be rational. For this to happen, 1 by a b should be rational that implies a b should be rational therefore for x of t to be periodic a b should be rational it means that rational it means that a b should be of the form m by n now let us consider another problem as related to periodicity of the signals there is a signal x of t given as x of t is equal to cos t plus sine of 1 by root multiplied by t. We have to check if the signal x of t is periodic. If so, we have to find the period of the signal. We know that the period of the signal cos t is given as t1 is equal to One by two pi. Similarly, the period of the signal sine one by root two t is given as t two is equal to one by two root two pi. If we find the ratio t one by t two, this is equal to root two. This is not rational. 
therefore the c given signal x of t is not periodic consider a signal x of t which is given as sin of 2 pi t plus sin a t it's given that x of t is periodic then we have to find the possible a out of the options given which are root 3 2 3 by 2 and pi we know that the p the signal sine 2 pi t is periodic with a period t1 is equal to 1 and the signal sine a t is periodic with a period t1 is equal to 2 pi by a sorry t2 is equal to 2 pi by a for the signal x of t to be periodic t1 by t2 should be rational number that implies a by 2p should be rational number out of the options given below if a is equal to pi that is which corresponds to the option d t1 by t2 would be rational therefore x of t would be periodic from this we see that the correct option is d now let us consider a discrete time signal x of n is equal to e power j 4 pi pi by 3 n we have to find the period of the signal we know that the signal x of n is periodic with a period capital n x x of n plus capital n is equal to x of n and the fundamental period of the signal will be the minimum n that satisfies this condition upon substitution we can see that x of n plus n is equal to e power j 4 pi by 3 n plus j multiplied by 4 pi by 3 capital n this is further should be equal to e power j 4 pi by 3 n upon simplification we see that for the signal x of n to be periodic a power j 4 pi by 3 capital n should be equal to 1 or uh, this should be equal to a power j 2 pi by 2 pi k where k belongs to z upon simplification we see that 4 pi by 3 n is equal to 2 pi k where k belongs to z that implies n is equal to 3k by 2 where k belongs to z we have to find the minimum z minimum n that satisfies this condition we know that for k is equal to 2 n would be equal to 3 now this is the minimum n that satisfies the condition that x of n plus capital n is equal to x of n therefore the period of the signal is n is equal to 3 now let us consider another signal x of n is equal to sine of 6 pi by 5 n we have to find the fundamental period of the signal so here also similar to above problem for the signal x of n to be periodic x of n plus capital n should be equal to x of n so sine of 6 pi by 5 n plus 6 pi by 5 capital n should be equal to sine of 6 pi by 5 n this should further be equal to sine of 6 pi by 5 n plus 2 pi k upon equating the terms 6 pi by 5 n and 2 pi k we get that 6 pi by 5 n is equal to 2 pi k here k belongs to z and the minimum n which satisfies this condition is the period of the signal that implies n is equal to 5k by 3 for k is equal to 3 n is equal to 5 so the minimum n that satisfies the given condition x of n plus capital n is equal to x of n is 5 so for this value of n the x signal x of n will be periodic and n is equal to 5 is the fundamental period of the signal
now let us consider another signal x of t is equal to cos 2t plus sin root 3t we have to find if the signal x of t is periodic we know that the signal cos 2t will be periodic with a period of t1 is equal to pi and the signal sin root 3t would be periodic with a period of t2 is equal to 2 pi by root 3. From this we see that the ratio t1 with respect to t2 is equal to root 3 by 2. This is not rational. So from this we see that the given signal x of t is not periodic. Consider two signals x of t is equal to sin of 2 pi t and y of n is equal to e power j pi by 3 n. There are three statements given as related to the characterization of these signals. It's given that one of the signals is continuous time and the other is discrete time signal. It's given that one of the signals is periodic and other is non-periodic. It's also given that one of the signals is even and the other is odd. We have to find which of these three statements are correct. If we see the signal x of t is equal to sin 2 pi t, this is defined for all instants of time. Therefore, x of t is continuous time signal. Similarly, the signal y of n is equal to e power j pi by 3 n is defined only for n belonging to z. Means it is defined only for specific instants of time. So, this is discrete time signal. From this, we see that where x of t is continuous time and y of n is discrete time. So, the statement 1 is correct. Similarly, if we see the statement 2 is related to periodicity of the signals. So, if we try to find the periodicity of the signal x of t by the statement or by the relation x of t plus capital T is equal to x of t for a capital T belonging to r minus 0 case. Upon simplifying this, we see that x of sorry sine of 2 pi t plus sine of 2 pi capital T is equal to sine 2 pi t. This is true if t belongs to z and the minimum t that satisfies this condition is t is equal to 1. Therefore t equal to 1 is the fundamental period of the signal sine 2 pi t. Therefore x of t is equal to sine 2 pi t is periodic. Similarly, if we take the signal y of n, for checking the periodicity of the signal, we can use the relation y of n plus capital N is equal to y of n for every n, where n belongs to z minus 0. From this, we can show that e power j pi by 3 n multiplied by e power j pi by 3 capital N should be equal to e power j pi by 3 n. From this, we see that pi by 3 n should be equal to 2 pi k. From this, we see that n should be equal to 6 k, where k belongs to z. From this, the minimum k which satisfies this relation is k equal to 1. For that value of k, n is equal to 6. From this, we see that the signal y of n is equal to e power j pi by 3 n is also periodic. As the given statement signals both x of t and y of n are periodic, the statement 2 is not correct. Now, other statement is related to conjugate symmetric or skew symmetric properties of the signal. We know that in for checking the same in case of x of t, find x star of t which is equal to sin 2 pi t itself. From this, x star of minus t is equal to minus sin 2 pi t. This is equal to minus x of t. 
Therefore, the given signal x of t is conjugate skew symmetry and the signal is real, the given signal x of t is odd. From this, we see that the given signal x of t is odd. Similarly, if you consider y of n is equal to e power j pi by 3n, from this y star n is equal to my e power minus j pi by 3n. From this y star of minus n is equal to e power j pi by 3n which is equal to y of n itself. From this we see that the given signal y of n is conjugate symmetric. So from this we see that one of the signals is conjugate symmetric and other signal is conjugate skew symmetric. So the statement 3 is not correct as such. So out of the given statements, the statement 1 is correct and the statements 2 and 3 are not correct.